Shalom and welcome to our episode of Living Supernaturally. Thank you for joining in and uh, sharing with us your presence as we learn and meditate on God's Word. Through this series, we are looking at what it really means to be a child of God. We looked at how we become children of God is through our faith in Jesus is through being born again, is having an experience of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in our lives, knowing that He died for our sins and gave us that privilege of being called the children of God. From these days going forward, we are going to be looking at some privileges that we have of being a child of God. Reading from Romans chapter 8, verses 16 to 17, the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. So as children of God, we are the heirs of God. That is one of our biggest privileges. As a child of God, we are an heir of God. So who is an heir? An heir is a person who inherits the possessions. So just like in a natural family, the children who inherit everything that belongs to their parents, an heir is a receiver or is a beneficiary of some inheritance. So if we are children of God, we are recipients of God's inheritance as his heir. So the death of a benefactor provides this inheritance. In the same way, the death of Christ and what he did for us on the cross provides for us a glorious inheritance. Now, as we saw yesterday, this inheritance is not based on our works or on our deeds, but it is because of what Christ has done for us. The Bible gives us a description of this inheritance, which we will take a look at and which is taken from the first book of Peter. So firstly, our inheritance is incorruptible. What does this mean? It means it cannot be damaged. It cannot be destroyed. It's something that, it, it, uh, that does not perish. It cannot be threatened by anything, either by disease or darkness or suffering or hardships. It is an inheritance that can never be broken into. What you and I have in Christ is not subject to any kind of decay or decomposition, but it is something that is incorruptible. The second thing that we see about our inheritance is that it will not rot. It says it will not spoil. What we have in Christ is far from anything by being deformed or, or debased or degraded. So we, we understand that there's nothing on earth that is perfect. Even the most beautiful things that we have is imperfect. But the inheritance that God gives is truly perfect, just as He is perfect. The third thing that we see is that our inheritance won't wear out. It will never fade. It's something that is enduring. And the fourth, it is reserved for us. It is kept for us. What we have in Christ is kept for us in heaven. Our crown of glory has its name written on it. So as a child of God, you and I are heirs and we have a glorious inheritance that we are to enjoy. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege of being called your child and with it being an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ with a glorious inheritance that we have. Thank you that you loved us so much that you did not look at us to earn it, but Father, you gave your free gift of salvation, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us into your family. We are privileged. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.